now let's talk about career opportunities career opportunities is uh, one area which everybody wants to know about like what is the future going to be uh, in fact today while we were starting bhakti made a very important uh, statement she was telling that there's a 40% cagr of uh, um, um, of data science opportunities worldwide and that's a that's how the opportunities are growing year on year right so of course the opportunities are growing of course there is a dearth for knowledge but it is important a dearth for uh, a talent but it is important for you to identify your niche when i say niche you have to identify where do you want to fit in that big picture of data analytics do you want to be an analytics consultant and then so when i say analytics consultant that person is the one who provides solutions to improve the efficiency and solve a company's problem so i go to a company ask them what their problem is maybe see what they are not able to see and come up with a solution to the problem okay so for that you have to be a uh, very uh, functionally knowledgeable you should know the domain very well you should know like if you're going to an automotive industry you should know about automotive industry you should have some business experience you should have some analytics understanding you should you should know your basic data sciences you should know what are machine learning algorithms you should know how they are applied how to do a little bit of coding maybe uh, you know to run one or two pilots you should be able to drive the project yourself so uh, that kind of analytics understanding is required and also working experience in any industry or domain is a very very big added advantage so generally the roles that uh, analytics consulting uh, uh, field people generally are offered analytics consultant role to start with and uh, obviously there's a career progression as we move forward then data services data services uh, a data engineer is a one is an it worker who pri- whose primary job is to prepare data for analytical and operational use these software and en- uh, engineers are typically responsible for building data pipelines to bring together information from different sources so they should have an idea of different etl uh, systems they should have an idea of where the data is originating from where do i transport it to what is the data frequency you know and then understanding uh, maybe querying tools like sql no sql understanding different data architectures <clears throat> Uh, to de- uh, to design if the if the organization needs an on prem server or does the organization require a cloud server how much how how big the cloud ser- cloud server is required how many clients need to be engaged how many people need to be given licenses license management etc etc all this comes under your data services so here you need to know something like ms sql postgres sql mongo db aws azure gcp one of these i'm not saying you should know everything but at least some of these things need to be known so the uh, role that you will get into is a data engineer right then coming next is data scientists who are uh, who i should say are analytical experts and uh, they they have both uh, mathematical knowledge they have their statistics knowledge they have their domain knowledge so they are very very versatile people like uh, shailesh was just mentioning they need to be very very versatile and uh, they they use industry knowledge con- contextual understanding and then they uh, uh, design your uh, and uh, your math your machine learning or analytical models to solve a business problem so here you need to have statistics you need to know programming you need to know uh, what the business is you need to know um, how do you develop process you have to develop analytical process understanding and also you should have articulation skills so you generally end up as a data scientist right then visualization as uh, shailesh was pre- uh, previously mentioning visualization is very very important it's if you if you make a, a beautiful complex machine learning algorithm w- what do i benefit if i'm not able to see the results i should be able to see the results right so uh, it is very important to you know articulate compile all your results into a very readable and uh, absorbable or assimilatable format so a data visualization developer is someone who creates these graphic representations their primary responsibilities are to produce visual depictions of text based data that reveal patterns trends and correlations between different points so they should have a knowledge of visualization software like tableau power bi or uh, your uh, uh, your click or uh, there are many others uh, sas uh, sas has its own analytics platform spotfire 
tipco spot fire etc and they should have uh, business understanding also it is going to be very helpful in kpi definition which uh, which is key performance indicator definition and they should also know a little bit on data uh, database management they should know a little bit on sql and postgres sql or some some kind of database management too so you generally end up as a visualization developer now uh, whenever there is a assignment whenever there is an analytics problem you need all these four people to sit together and solve the problem together it is not going to happen that only a data scientist without the help of a data service data engineer or without the help of a consultant or without the help of a visualization could a visualize uh, visualization developer could succeed in whatever he is trying to do he will be able to succeed in developing a model which may not be business which which may not have business relevance which may not be using the right data or which even if it is using uh, the right data and has business significance is not understandable by the end user and uh, that's that's where your visualization comes therefore i i strongly uh, want to tell you this that it's it's about collaboration and collective working and continuous knowledge building that makes a data uh, a, a data scientist wholesome that's where all the uh, magic sauce lies that's where everything is uh, present now um, since we are talking about career opportunities i thought it's important for you to understand that data is the center of everything for a data scientist therefore you should know what are the different open source data uh, data sources that are there that you should definitely explore as a student to um, you know build some models so data sources like kaggle so if you if you ever wanted uh, already prepared data in a structured form then make it your first choice to go to kaggle data sets are not only open accessible data sets uh, uh, they are formatted better and uh, you can find variety of uh, file types like csvs json sqlite bigquery many many different uh, types of uh, files you will find then the next uh, place where you should go to uh, for uh, data is uci ml repo the uci uh, machine learning repository is a collection of databases domain theories and data generators that are used by machine learning community for empirical analysis of machine learning algorithms then the next one is quandl uh, q u a n d l quandl a uh, resource uh, uh, provides free data sets for data science community which is designed for professionals and delivers financial economic and alternative data uh, for people worldwide they cover almost two types of data that is time series data and tables then we have government data of uh, uh, available us government data on data.gov and we have indian government data on data.gov.in so these sites are particularly designed to make sure that only those that data points which can be used publicly are available on this website so uh, make sure you go through these websites to get some understanding on different data types what are the different sources of data and appreciate uh, the data also then apart from this uh, i think hackathons data science hackathons can be challenging to crack uh, and they 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 might be very very useful for you to uh, hone your data science skills so you can uh, you can in fact they can let you earn some money also in a fun way so you have many platforms that uh, uh, offer hackathons which include machine hack kaggle data crunch data hack and uh, they have many many data science hackathons and competitions and many times these are real world problems so that's where you should actually get exposed to uh, just give it a try uh, whenever you get some time apart from that uh, we have different blogs uh, written in data science in in fact in an in, in our indian context uh, i personally used to go through analytics vidya towards data science these are these are two important websites that i would always go through but apart from that there are different other blogs that you must follow like uh, data science central smart data collective what's the big data no free hunch inside big data <coughs> simply statistics data flow data science 101 data data economy data science report so all these have uh, very very interesting articles latest trends and uh, i think these are some blogs that you must read to keep yourself updated uh, in this field of data science so um with by uh, 
giving taking you through all this i hope you got the flavor of industry you got the flavor of what career opportunities you might aspire for and uh, i wish to uh, wish that you all uh, we wish that you all flourish in uh, 